good evening everyone uh, good evening to all the authors and fellow reviewers uh, nowadays we have a workflow that uh, needs automation so why this or said our uh, the publons is needed a profile for you is needed is that any publication you publish everywhere it needs to be integrated under a single profile so that you can uh, cite it or you can give it as a representation of your academic profile in any organization or to represent your uh, resume uh, so that it is all condensed and made as a simplest form so this uh, or set first we will deal with the or set so first i'll uh, share my screen is my screen visible now yeah you are fully visible okay so as it is now made as a mandatory uh, uh, metadata that should be submitted for every authors in most of the manuscript submission portals and uh, we also integrated this into our innovative submission uh, requirements because once we give an or set profile number it will get integrated to your profile whatever publication you do in uh, both in innovative or in elsewhere will get integrated under your profile so we will first go by, by with a step by step demonstration of how to create a profile how to update a profile and uh, how to make it uh, a live one uh, we can see it now so once you log into orsit.org and you will have this uh, sign in sign in option will come here so once you click on that you will get into this sign in page so once you have a profile you can just uh, enter your email id and password and sign in if you don't have you can uh, give a new one register now you can give just give your first name and uh, primary email id you just repeat it and then you just give next and it will get confirmed and you will get an id which has to be verified again with your uh, mail id confirmation and once you do that just like any gmail id it will just get activated and uh, if you have your uh, orsit id linked to the other profiles like google or facebook you can have access also through those uh, links if you have forgot your uh, username or password for the primary orsit profile so now i am entering my profile so once you sign into the profile uh, until and unless you have updated it it will all be blank and it will be needing updation everywhere except the number once you register the number will be generated for you other than that all the records will be empty and uh, this all uh, pencil mark is the edit option available so uh, in all the columns uh, that is available in the orsit you can edit your details we will go one by one first on the left side of the screen you will see all your uh, links to other profiles and your uh, key uh, research uh, uh, metadata that will be available to the any visible audience who is logging into your profile and seeing your uh, academic credentials so first there is a link for uh, uh, your email ids you can give your all your uh, organizational email ids or your personal email ids and uh, this star uh, over here that is a like a traffic signal plot that is showing that if it is in green color it shows that it is visible to everyone and if it is in uh, orange color for a specific persons or only to your known persons or if it is in red it will be visible only to you that is the thing available if you just see here you can even add other uh, uh, how many number of email ids you have either it's a professional or as a personal you can add it here you have the option everyone or only trusted parties or only me you have this option you can set it for every detail whatever you give in or set you can set the privacy policy like it should be visible to everyone or only to yourself or to the trusted people only like this so you just add your email id once you uh, create the profile itself your primary email will be added but if you want to further add any more email ids to your profile you can add it here that is the option available and if you have a personal website you can add it there you if you have a website you can just write a name of your website and its url so that it will be added and the visibility can be set accordingly and if you have any other uh, links to your profile which is in other websites like research gate or uh, publons or whichever thing you want to link to your profile you can add it here but primarily you have the option for uh, uh, emails websites and social links you can add your uh, facebook all uh, social links to this profile that is depending upon your uh, uh, privacy policy however you want to expose your profile to others in other ids if you come they are integrating other uh, research profiles like uh, first one is the researcher id researcher id is given by this web of science people that is a publons 
initially they were uh, separately giving a researcher id profile and a publons profile later it was all integrated into one as a publons profile only so if you go to publons you will have this seen here this g5 5756 this is your uh, research id number and uh, you can get it also in uh, settings from your uh, profile so you can just uh, link that to your uh, ausid also and uh, scopus if you go and uh, create an account you will get a similar id which can also be linked here in uh, sci profiles in mdpa also you can do the same so how many ever number of uh, profiles you have with the publishing organization or with an academic organization you can all identify it here in this uh, id's column and you can set the privacy statements accordingly other than that depending upon your specialty you can set your keywords or the key research uh, uh, themes under which you are working why this is necessary is because many a times uh, while selecting for peer reviewers it is the keywords what we search for uh, the pertinent uh, research category we will be searching for uh, peer reviewers if you have your uh, primary research uh, themes included in this keywords it will all be uh, visible to all the editors who are seeking for potential peer reviewers and country and depending upon your location you can set your country and later if you come here uh, from the name uh, many people have a publishing name and various names like in some uh, uh, publications they will list it as uh, second name followed by first name in some it is by first name followed by second name such kind of uh, versions will be there so if uh, if at all there is any alternate versions or if you want any uh, uh, nicknames to be added to your profile you can do that and you can set the visibility accordingly and if you want to uh, give a short biography of yourself to any editor or any uh, reader who is coming and visiting your profile you can give a short description about your uh, 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 work or your uh, passion of uh, work whatever it is and coming to activities there are various headings under which uh, this profile will be updated i'll first minimize everything so that you will have an overall view of what all needs to be added so these are the uh, seven items which needs to be added first about your uh, affiliations that is working where are all where and all you have worked and where you are currently working and the next is your educational qualifications and next your positions and next is your memberships next any funding you have received for any uh, current funding you are on in uh, you are being uh, given and if at all any past funding you have received all these all why these all things are included is because to get a conflict of interest statement that is clarified from your profile these all funding statements are necessary so if you don't disclose a funding that is being received uh, by you but still you have updated in your orsid account but you don't disclose it in your uh, submission uh, when cross checking there is a controversy will arise so always give a full disclosure of your uh, funding status whenever you are submitting a submission which is concerned to the particular topic that is always uh, better rather than the editor finding out a conflict of interest and uh, uh, retrogradely asking you to submit the conflict of interest form again revised one and uh, then the works that is all the publications and then the peer reviews these are all the things under which uh, your profile will be updated they will go one by one first you will see the employment you just go and uh, click into this if you are adding it fresh you can go to add and uh, you will see an options like uh, this is an employment so under which organization you are working your city your state and your country and which department what is your uh, role over there when did you start your employment in that uh, organization and uh, if it is a past uh, affiliation you can be given end date if it is not you can leave it blank and it will be taken as till date and if you have any links for your uh, institution you can give that and you can set your visibility options so these are the things to be added and once you add depending upon your uh, interval what you give it will be represented like from uh, these days to these days he was working as a uh, current role in this institute and uh, similarly it will be updated all your current and past affiliations will be coming under this employment category and then next you go to education and qualifications so so if you go here similarly you will be adding it as a new thing if you haven't added anything then it will ask you two questions either you are adding an education or a qualification if you give education it will go to which organization the same things will be repeated which department what is a degree this is the only thing that will be different from that of the previous employment category there it will be asking as a what's your job title here it will ask for degree that is for education the rest of the things are all the same so you will give your all your educational qualifications in here if you are giving it as an qualification the same thing here it will ask for role and title that is the difference other than that everything all the same 
so you will fill all your uh, educational qualifications over here so once you have done that this part will be complete and then you will uh, update all your positions and distinctions you have received so uh, here you will go to add and similarly it will ask whether it is an invited position you are updating or it's as a distinction if you say it's a distinction then it will ask who gave you the distinction and what what is the department or uh, what kind of award it is and what is the name of that award when was it given if there is any link available to that award being uh, given you can give that also and set the visibility options and if you are adding an invited position it will ask you what position mainly what is your role invited position details that is what the main thing that will be asked the rest of the things are all the same so once you add all your uh, uh, positions and distinctions depending upon the date in which you give it will be uh, sorted accordingly 2019 will go behind 20 will be uh, up front similarly so all the memberships next come the memberships so what all memberships you have you can update it similar way in add column and it will ask you whether it's a membership or a service. So you give it as a membership. It will ask for the primary organization and what type of member you are, either a life member or an associate member or something like that. And rest, um, if you are currently as a member, you can leave it blank for the end date. And from which year you are being a member, you can add it over here and set the visibility options. And it will go like that. Add all your uh, memberships and your uh, positions. So that will add it. And to the funding. Next, you go. If you go to the funding, if you just give give a many funding have an uh, online option available to get it uh, linked to the profile. If you don't have it, you can do it manually. In manually, it will ask for what type of funding it is, either it's a contract or a grant or a salary award, something like that. And uh, uh, what is the name of the project for which you are being funded? And if you have a link to that project, you can give that. And description about the project for which you received the funding. What is the final amount of funding you received? When was it? Uh, during which period it was given? You can update all these details. And the funding agency. All its agency's name, city, country, and all things you can add it. And if you have any identifiers, like if the funding is being given by a central grant, like NIH grant or something like that, it will have its own identifier number that you can add it here. So that will all be more mostly accountable in all your publications. So that if you receive a funding and it is all cited in all your publications, your profile will look more credible. So funding, this is about funding. So we will minimize this also. Next we go to works. Here there are many options like uh, this is including our publications, uh, the ways to include our publications. So there are many ways in which uh, you can add your publications. So you can just search and uh, give a link to your uh, publication so that it will be added. Or if you have a DOI for your publication, you can add it. Or if you have the PubMed ID for your publication, you can add it. Or if you have the BibTeX link, that is an exported uh, BibTeX file, you can add it. Or you can add it manually. So the most credible way is to do the first uh, four. The last one is uh, not the right way of doing it because you are doing it manually. It is not the because in everywhere the source will be given. If it is self, uh, you are entering it manually. So uh, it will be again cross-checked if it is uh, uh, available through other referencing platforms. If uh, if it is not available and it is a very uh, publication of a very older uh, times where uh, all these uh, things are not available, you can do it manually by then. You can first see the manual option so that you will know what all metadata will be imported from your uh, publications to be added to this profile. So it will ask for work type, either it's a publication or book chapter or whatever it is. And uh, the title, then uh, the journal title, publication date, and the link for publication and the citation uh, type, because you are entering it manually. If you are importing it, it will all be automatically imported. Since you are doing it manually, it will ask what format of uh, citation you are giving, and you have to give the reference citation here. And you have to add an identifier. Identifier can be of many types here we usually give the doi or if you if it is in the archive we can give the archive number usually we give the doi number digital object identifier we usually give it and then give the select here as doi and give the doi value here and the link url here and give it as whether uh, it's uh, your sole publication or it's a uh, part of your publication or something like that if it is funded you can add that also 
if it has any other identifier similar uh, relating to the funding you can all add it here and language country of publication and you can set the visibility these all the metadata that will be imported from your uh, publication once you do it uh, automatically but if you are doing it manually you must have all these details so that it will be added you can see that uh, none of the columns are made as mandatory so it is not like uh, only the title is mandatory you can see the only title has an asterisk uh, only the work type and title if you have your uh, uh, you can say like i am having a publication of this title which has to be added you can do that but the disadvantage of uh, incomplete uh, uh, data being updated is that no one can reference it no one can cross check it it will be just as a article with a title there won't be any doi links there won't be any uh, journal uh, links available for some reader or anyone to go and visit your uh, article so if a person is uh, looking at your asset id from one of your publications and they want to know the entire history of your work so they will have a link through the publication site that you can take uh, visit the asset profile of the author there will be a link like that once you give a asset profile during submission it will be showing a pop up option with a green uh, symbol stating as id once you click on that it will take to the asset profile so it the uh, readers will have a look into all your publications so if they want to refer refer to one of your publication they must have a working link to uh, reach uh, to that link, uh, to, to that concerned paper so these are all the methods by which you can uh, gain more citations because if the uh, author is more uh, or reader is more interested in uh, citing one of your paper and if there is no link available in your profile and then it becomes a difficulty for the reader to cite your paper so if it is all mail readily available if you if it is just a click away from uh, uh, getting it it will be very simple both for the readers and for yourself to get more uh, exposure to your concerned article so always try to get maximum details available for a concern article so that it will be available to the readers and for your uh, showcasing of your work so try to make uh, all the entries possible here so if you are having a doi how to do that we will see you are having a doi you just give the doi number then it will be automatically taken just retrieve your work details from doi if you give thing is in many a times you'll be publishing your paper and it will be available online just like today and you'll be giving but doi will be assigned that will be uh, generated during the uh, uh, post production uh, time itself so the doi has been assigned but it will not be made active so it will take some uh, depending upon the processing of the publisher it will take around a week or two weeks to get it active so that the article is cross referenced with doi sometimes in some journals they activate it instantly so that uh upon uh, online version itself the article will be cross referenceable but in some publications the doi will be activated later in such scenarios your doi won't work here uh, you might think that the article is available online but also is not picking up your doi because it will be not yet activated if you click that uh, doi link it will uh, say that the link is broken or it is not activated you just report an error something like that it will come in a yellow screen so that is all because it is not yet activated and it needs some time because the publisher has to log into the doi database and give the metadata of the concern article so that it will be linked to that uh, doi number the concern article so that is a thing with doi next the other option is pubmed id pubmed id once it is indexed in uh, pubmed you can just give the pubmed id and it will be uh, easily taken uh, one uh, uh, easy way of uh, doing multiple publications like uh, if you want to get into the uh, if you have some 50 publications and you are just creating your asset profile just now uh, you can't go and individually select all the doi of individual articles and get it imported to this uh, asset id that will be a very tiresome job so there comes the role of this bibtex so what happens is you go to the pubmed uh, pubmed i'll just show you so you go to pubmed you just give your author name So it lists you all the articles which is published under your name. So you just first export it, save. It will ask for uh, options. What are the options in which it has to be saved? Many options it will be shown. So you can save in any one of the option. Say like uh, you save it in CSV format, or you can even save it as a PubMed format. Okay. You give all selections. all results create file
so a file will be downloaded so that will have the metadata of all these uh, 60 publications so you, from this uh, text file you can import this to your uh, referencing software citation referencing software like i have a zotero so you take it in so from the file import so this will ask for these three formats or other formats also it will accept sometimes so it is importing all your publications in one go and uh, since they are asking for web text only what you can do is you can select all all these 60 items and given uh, web text export web text export so you will have a web text file over there now you can go to your rc account and here you give web text just to uh, choose your web text file then all your 60 publication data will come into your profile so in one go you can do all your publication work being integrated into here i am not doing it because it is all already there so just if you import that web text file all your data of that 60 publication will be imported in a single go you need not individually type all those uh, 60 entries again and again that will be a very tiresome job for you so if you have a dui available it will be readily uh, taken most of the times once you do the submission with the uh, rcid number it will be automatically integrated to your uh, rcid profile and you will get a mail stating that your rcid profile has been updated with the following works and in the works it will show that publication this uh, name of the publication that is being updated will be shown and if it's a peer review the name of the uh, journal for which you have done a peer review all those things will be updated and a mail will be sent to you uh, once and again once it is uh, updated so this is all about the works or the publications and coming to the peer review peer review the same uh, you can actually this will be automatically integrated based on uh, the option you give du during a peer review process because in many of the publishers will ask for whether you want this uh, concern peer review to be integrated to your orcid account if at all you give your orcid id a question will be asked like that if you are signing into either a scholar in a scholar uh, one or manuscript central or whatever it is if you have your profile updated with an orcid number already then it will be automatically your orcid number will be there in the reviewer form if it is not there an option will be given to link your orcid number to the concerned uh, uh, review for the concerned review and once you sign in with and link your profile with the orcid number the concerned uh, peer review what you are doing will be integrated to your uh, uh or sit profile so here a uh, entry means a concern journal uh, if it is a 40 means it means there is a 40 journals are being integrated here and in individual journals if you want to see how many uh, uh peer review you have done you have to individually open everything and then if you see all the research works will be uh, shown individually or what date you have done and what work you have done as a role as a reviewer something like that you will see individual details if you say see more details and the concern detail of uh, the publons link will be coming because this is cross uh, updated from publons because publons and orcid work together you can update your details from orcid to publons and publons to orcid so either you create one profile you can create one profile and you can integrate both in a single go i'll show you how to do that in uh, working with publons so this is all updated uh, from uh, publons some are updated from publons some are directly integrated from the publisher so it says the source as publons so this is all about the peer review call so that's all the seven activities that we update to be completely done and make sure that all your uh, other id links are uh, updated here so that if a publication is done under this id also if you are publishing in mdpi and you have the site profile number added to your profile it will be automatically imported to this uh, rcl profile so all these ids work together all these research id scopus id your sai profile id or whatever other publishing platform ids you have if you update it into your account all those publication done in the concern publishing house will be automatically integrated even though they don't ask for your orcid because your id is integrated to orcid and if this id is updated orcid will be automatically updated that is how it works so this is all about the orcid profile so now we will get into the publons
if you have any doubts with uh, orsid you can ask me now or i'll continue with the populons and you can deal it uh, all together Okay, yeah. shall I continue with problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two people have uh, raised the hand, but questions are not here. So, can yeah. can I request you all to please put your questions on the chat box? Thank you. On oh, sorry, on question answer box. And uh, uh, sir, I would like to request you. You please continue on the or sheet then in between. Problems, you mean? Yeah, you please continue with the problems. Okay, we will start with the publons. So, uh, publons, we go to publons.com. And this is the home page. And if you don't have a profile, you just create it just similar to that of an orset. You will be asked uh, for a email ID and all the basic uh, data will be asked from you. Your email ID, uh, you set a password, first name, last name, that's it. You register. You will get an account link to your mail and if you activate it, your Publons profile will be ready. That's it. So if you have your profile created, you have to go to login, give your login IDs. And here you have the option, there you have the option to sign in with the Google and your institutional ID and your Facebook. Here they have integrated with uh, Orsid also. You can integrate it with the Orsid. You can go with LinkedIn or WeChat or Facebook and Google. These are all the other uh, sign-in options available for uh, Publons. One thing that uh, is previously all the web of science, publons all worked uh, independently, but now they are all integrated under a single account. So if you have one account, it, it means you have an account both with web of science, with publons and everything re related to Clarivit. So if you sign into your profile, you will, this is uh, a private dashboard. So you have many options like this is private dashboard. And one other uh, public option, uh, if you go to view profile, you will see how a uh, uh, reader will uh, see your profile. This is how a reader will see your profile. They will show you the summary of your uh, research work. That is this statistics and then the metrics, all the publications and the peer reviews. This is how a reader who visits your profile will see your profile. It is not in the way how you see it as your in your uh, private dashboard. If you want to go to private dashboard, it will get more details about how to update it and what are the things that is all uh, to be done in your profile. So if you see here, you can see like first to your profile updations. So this is now, now we have seen this public profile. So we'll go to other items. So uh, now you can make your CV available in an instant with this uh, Publons uh, account. Like if you have all your, uh, Articles updated in uh, Publons, all your peer review updated in Publons, all the citation data will be automatically taken from the Web of Science database. So you can have your uh, CV exported to a current publication and it will be automatically made. And uh, if you have once uh, completely done all your updation, it will ask for from which date to which date you want your uh, uh, data to be taken. If you say from uh, uh, this date to this date, and the uh, format of the file in which you have to download it, and what are all the sections that has to be included your uh, about info, all your publications, all your reviews, all your editorial records. If you want all these things to be included, you just check, uh, tick all the check boxes and give generate. It will generate a PDF and it will be a, a nice P a CV to give it instantly with all your uh, updated publications. And if you have updated all the uh, publications into this profile, it will automatically pick up all the citations and from which university and which institute have cited your current paper. And based on that, it will give a map like picture there. All the citation data will be updated in numbers there. You, you have this uh, red mark means that it's a current institute. And if it's a circle mark means it's a group data. So if you want to uh, individually, you can split it up. Like if you can zoom in, it will all be automatically split up. So if you want to see which uh, institute is citing your paper more or which paper is being cited more, you can see it like in this way. So if you want to see, uh, so I am from Chennai. So if I want to see which institute in Chennai is referring to my paper and which paper is being currently referred, if you want to see. So if I want to see uh, in Velour, if CMC Velour is doing. So if I'm seeing that CMC Velour has cited uh, these all uh, uh, papers with my works. So I can in, uh, instantly, I can see which works is being cited by my uh, colleagues or in my nearby institutions very easily. So this is all map being generated by uh, Publons for you to get 
associated because if some other author is citing much of your work it means that he is also working in the same field so you can easily collaborate with him these are all the ways in which you can find new potential collaborators for your research that is being made available with your publons profile if it is completely updated so next we will go to uh, your records so in your records the first thing will be asked for the publications so similar to the or said you have many uh, many ways to import your publications into web of science so i mean this publons account so if it is a, a web of science uh, uh, if it is a journal that is being indexed in web of science then it will be automatically picked up once you give a publications tab this will show you instantly here that found 20 web of science publications something like that if you are creating your profile for the first time if you have 20 uh, publications that is integrated to the web of science profile and uh, if you have uh, uh, the publications that is being indexed in other databases that is not found in web of science then you can find the other op options but this is the easiest way to go if it is indexed in web of science if you just click yes then it will ask you to confirm whether these are all the publications and if you say yes it will all be integrated in one go that's it and if you don't find it like that the initial thing is not for updation this is for searching you don't have to update it here if you want to import the publication this is not the place where you have to do you have to go to import publications because here these things are to search in your publication for a concerned uh, paper so if you want to see how many papers you have done in a year you can give from to uh, or if you want the papers with the maximum citations you can do this and if you want the paper only in index in web of science you can do it here these are all the ways in which you can search your papers that is already been updated not for new updation if you want to update it now you go to import publications that is the place where you have to import it so if you go and uh, see first is from web of science it will be automatically given for a publons user but that is not uh, if you have any paper there it will be listed here and you can uh, select it easily if you don't have that this is the easiest other way because you have uh, updated your orsid profile if you just say sync my publications from orsid everything you updated in orsid will be taken to publons in a single instant just like how you do it over there in uh, publons you can do it the same here to orsid and the uh, import by dy that is the same thing what if you have done earlier you can just give the dy of an article and it will be automatically all the metadata will be taken like the article article link all the pubmed id article title everything will be taken here and it will be asking for uh, to confirm whether that is a publication and if you say import it will be automatically imported this is the other way group way of doing it and if you are uh, similar to what i have shown you before you can either download it you can see here they have an option for csv so if you just uh, download it from uh, pubmed straight as a csv file and put that file here all your data will be uh, imported in a single go uh, here we have both the csv or bibtex or ras all the formats are acceptable here so you don't have to go to your referencing platform and uh, do it again uh, for a bibtex conversion so this is the way in which all your publications are imported here next we go to peer reviews so uh, regarding the peer reviews there are many ways of doing it but the easiest way of doing it is what uh, yesterday lalit sir has been uh, demonstrating so the easiest way to uh, do a peer review entry in uh, publons is just to forward the acknowledgement mail watch what you have received to reviews at publons.com that is the easiest way of doing it and the other way of doing it is to uh, going and doing it as a manual work uh, like uh, you have to say whether all the details you have to give what is the journal name what is the article name and uh, what are the things you want it to be displayed and if you want the content to be uh, visible it has to also be to be added and then you can uh, click to uh, create review and they will cross reference your review from the concerned journal once they receive acknowledgement from the journal only then they will add it to your profile you can't do it this one, uh, you can't do it directly it won't be visible to a uh, uh, reader who is uh, to any uh, public who is coming and seeing your profile until it is being cross referenced by the publons from the concerned journal for that the concerned journal will be asked about an acknowledgement for the concerned article that you are saying that you have reviewed only they get a feedback from the journal side they will be updating it so the easiest way is giving them the acknowledgement form so acknowledgement mail what you have received from the journal so that's that is uh, like breaking the queue and making it all easy for the publons to get it uh, acknowledged easily so once you just forward that acknowledgement mail you receive uh, just like yesterday he was uh, demonstrating you i'll just show you you can see like um yeah you can see i just you get an acknowledgement from uh, uh, journal stating that all your reviews have been uh, received 
you just forward it you just forward it to reviews@publons.com once you do that immediately from publons you will get a statement saying that the review is being processed hi thank you for sending your uh, review it is being uh, taken up and it is so and so number in the queue it says here 2111 so it will be so much in the queue and it will be taken for consideration after one day and 10 hours and it will be processed and it will be available in your da dashboard depending upon its credibility something like that so once it gets added to your profile you get you will get a mail again from publon stating that a review has been added now increase its value it is available in your dashboard something like that you will get a mail so you get a mail stating that review added uh, something like this so it will say that reviews are now added now increase its value it is available in your dashboard you can see it something like that you will get and you can see all the its have a status you can see in the dashboard if you go and see the concern publication what you have sent as a forwarding mail to the publons will be added to your profile so that is the way easiest way of doing your uh, uh, peer review addition and you can also do your editorial uh, review uh, work being uh, uh, credited here and that is in the editor records so once you do a editorial work it will be uh, you will get an acknowledgement if you don't get you just ask the publisher to send an acknowledgement stating that uh, thanks for uh, uh, being a handling editor of a concern article and getting it uh, processed in the concern journal something like that uh, you will get a uh, mail if you don't get i'll just show you how it will be so something like this our innovate house sends this kind of uh, mails you can ask for it if it is not sent for any article that you are handling as an editor you can just uh, ask them to send you uh, with the name of the article which it was uh, being uh, published in the current issue and the journal for which it was being handled if you get this you just forward it to editsatpublons.com editsatpublons.com and it will be added to your profile so that is the easiest way of adding your editorial uh, works all your editor records will be easily added over here that is the easiest way of doing it the other one is doing it manually but it has to be uh, it has to go through a process of cross referencing with the concern journal only then it will be acknowledged in your profile so this is regarding your records updation next if you want to know uh, the status of your records that you have submitted you can go to pending records and it will show you all the records that needs to be updated in your profile awaiting for uh, acknowledgement from the publons to get it uh, verified from the journal or it is waiting in the queue as you have seen it will be shown this much days has to be uh, it will take for your uh, current record to be updated in your profile you get a something like that see you have this many pending uh, reviews to be added and you will see how much time uh, like uh, estimated time that i uh, been when it will be added will be shown here like 19 hours 12 hours 3 days something like that editorial records usually take so many days so it's always coming in uh, week time now it has reduced to 3 days but all your review records will be processed maximum in a day or two it don't take much long and uh, the notification will uh, show you how many records have been currently updated like three reviews you have been sent to as as completed processing seven has been completed processing something like that you will get like this and uh, many um, journals if you see if they have a partnering with publons you will get instant updation to your uh, account because during review process you will be asked whether you need a publons credit for the current peer review you are doing and if you select that option some of the journals we, the, who have a partnering with publons will get it acknowledged instantly because all your profile will be updated instantly upon getting a acknowledgement mail you get a two mails one from the journal stating that uh stating for an acknowledgement for your peer review and instantly you will get a, a, a mail from publons stating that your current peer review has been added to your publons profile because the concern journal and the publisher is directly linked to publons and they will instantly up, upload your acknowledgement to the publons they themselves so you need not do the process of sending it to reviews at publons and then they getting it acknowledged from the journal but the journal him themselves send it directly to publons and it will be instantly acknowledged so that is one easiest way of getting it done but it depends upon the journal and the publisher who is doing that work who is getting a tie up with them and this is all the community activities like web of science academy uh, this is for uh, knowing the peer review process if you are uh, new to peer review and you are not sure how it has to be done you can log into this enroll and uh, sign up in this web of science academy 
there are many mentors available for you to help you to know how a peer review has to be done and what are the parts of uh, or what are the sequence in which it has to be done depending upon a uh, type of the article you do and what all the checklist that has to be looked into or what are the details that has to be seen in all the articles under a concern title or a concern section of an article to get it uh, peer reviewed in a fair manner and uh, you can go and give your uh, specialty and you can see all the available mentors in your specialty or if you have a mentor already known to you you can just go and uh, give the email id of the current uh, mentor you want to uh, learn from and uh, once you give their mail id it will be automatically showing their uh, uh, name and uh, image and if you just say you want to uh, get mentored by the, by the current uh, person whom you are uh, wanting to then a mail will be sent to the mentor stating that the current uh, person is applying for a mentorship under you and if you are willing you can just uh, accept them as a um, peer review under your uh, guidance uh, and uh, once we accept that as a mentor uh, you will be asked to do a peer review for a sample article you can select an article of your own choice you can get it uh, you can do the peer review and send it to the mentor so the mentor will look at your comments what you have given from the peer review and they will guide you and improve your reviewing quality based on the quality what you have done already and if it needs to be improved and what are the sections that has to be improved all the things will be uh, made as a one to one communication between the mentor and the uh, academy uh, candidate who is applying for this uh, uh, thing uh, web of science academy graduate once you complete this course you will be given a certificate and your pablons will have a thing like he is a pablons academy uh, scholar something like that if you see in your uh, public profile it shows that you are an academic graduate it will have a thing like this hat option saying that you are a graduate it means you have uh, done this academy uh, course and your peer review quality has been uh, um, reviewed and it has been made a uh, certified okay so that you are a good peer reviewer it's a kind of acknowledgement for being a good peer reviewer it's kind of qualification or something like that you can say in that way so what is uh, left in the thing is if you have any of your publications scored by uh, any of your other colleagues it will be listed here and any journals uh, you want to endorse or if you are interested in all the things will be listed here these are the journals what you personally endorse will be listed here and if you don't want if you want to review your endorsement you can do it here and if you want to convey your review interest to any of your uh, uh, journal you can just uh, send it like this you can just send a mail to them stating that i am a person and i am willing to peer review you if you can uh, send a mail like this here then it will uh, send to the editor stating that a current person is willing to be a peer reviewer something like that and they will look into your profile and after that they will be uh, sending an article to you if they feel that your profile is okay to get peer reviewed from you and uh, this is a batch which you can uh, share like in your if you in your uh, cv or somewhere if you want to get your research id batch to be displayed or if you want this uh, pablons uh, thing to be displayed it will be uh, shown like this you can uh, generate a batch and then display it. it either can be like a, a code kind of thing it can be scanned and your profile will be visible straight from that uh, code that is being shown and the main thing comes to in the settings option because this is the place where you have this cross linking all your uh, account uh, activation everything happens so if you come to accounts and settings so the personal will be the first thing what you have given during uh, your uh, uh, signing up and the email will be the email what you have given for making it uh, active and if you have any other mails to be added you can add email address here and if you don't want to display anything you can uh, remove it over here and password you can uh, give and then you can change it and uh, connected accounts here if you want sign in from other accounts like uh, facebook or uh, google or linkedin or from uh, or said you can uh, link all your accounts over here yeah, since i am linked it is also showing my account uh, id if you have not linked it all the things will come here and you can say connect if you say connect your account will be connected like it last for a sign in to your account and it last for permission from the concerned account stating that uh, pablons is asking for permission to uh, uh, log in with your account is that okay to last and if you say okay then your account will be linked over here and uh, if you want to delete your account you don't want your profile to be visible because many times during initial creation you might uh, create a duplicate account so 
uh, you can uh, delete the account which is uh, secondary to you with this option and uh, if you don't want this account anyway even if it is a single account you can do it with the second option so this is from the first uh, your profile tab of the settings account next to your profile so in your profile you can give a give a image to you you can make your uh, names added you can have your research fields added here because this is all displayed in the uh, public profile so if you want whichever uh, theme you work on or your key research uh, sections you can be you can add it here so that if you are uh, being looked up as an, a peer reviewer if you find all the if they find all the research fields pertinent to the concern article you might be suggested as a peer reviewer and uh, you can uh, choose between uh, displaying the articles which are most recently published or the most cited ones or the most uh, these are the two options available and depending upon your choice it will be displayed and if you go to affiliations it will ask for your current affiliations and in that you can ask you can say under which journals you are working currently you can add that as editorial board member and institution affiliations you can add it over here um, but it will display only uh, one of your affiliations which is currently being uh, active if you have two or three affiliations institution affiliations that is active but still then it will uh, it is an option that only single affiliation will be added to your home page but it will be available if they further want to know you email ids that's the same what you have given and uh, if you want to update it you can do it here and all the preferences like uh, you need updation about any uh, promotional events or uh, notification emails that once you have a review has been submitted or any reminders from publons if you want these all things or any newsletters you can all make the email preferences from here the next main thing is with the permissions so in uh, permissions you must give a permission to automatically add the reviews from publon partners because uh, since i said before that some of the publishing houses and journals have a Uh, are publon partners and they will automatically add the reviews to your profile once you have given the option to include it during the review form so if you don't check this it won't get automatically added and you have to do it manually so you make sure that it is checked and uh, grant reviews if you if you added any kind of uh, grant reviews or any pre publication reviews you can do it over here if you want to hide the content if you want a peer review but uh, you don't want to give the content of your review you can uh, choose the options here you can display the review content or hide the review content you can uh, show the journal name or only the publisher name or both the journal and the publisher or kind of this kind of uh, display settings or uh, privacy settings you can do and for uh, rsid if you have linked your rsid profile it will come here and if you don't have link if you have not linked it it won't be available here but i sincerely recommend to link your orsid profile because there is an option that you can keep your publication list updated with your orsid if you don't have if you, you even you need not update your publons account at all but if you have made a check of this box then all the uh, articles that are being added to your orsid will automatically be updated to your publons also you need not do anything at all that will be done by itself and uh, if you have your publons profile created first but you have not updated your orsid at all you can do that easily by export the publications to orsid now if you say this then all your publications and all your metadata from your publons account will be totally transferred to your orsid profile and it is all be updated in a instant and uh, for that you have to check this and uh, give this option if you it is not updated and it will be done immediately and if it is uh, done then you need not worry but keep this uh, check boxes on so that it is automatically updated and then the similar to this uh, you have seen my peer reviews in orsid stating the source as publons because i exported from uh, publons so it, it has uh, shown uh, it is showing the source as uh, publons because when uh, all the peer review what you have done is being acknowledged and added to publons but still you want it to be visible in your orsid profile you can do it here export the reviews to orsid now if you give that all the works that is being done and added to publons will be taken to there i'm just showing you how it is done just click it we have started updating your reviews on orsid and it is all and it will all be updated in an instant if you go and see it will all be updated and you can revoke your permissions because you can take out uh, orsid uh, linking if you don't want to you can do that and uh, both for the orsid and for the publons if you don't want to get work in a uh, sync you can uh, delink both the accounts and uh, update it manually or in any other way possible but other than uh, linking between an orsid and a publon 
after doing everything you just save your changes if you have done any and you come out so these are all the settings that is available and if you come to the dashboard summary this will give you an overview of how your uh, editorial or your academic profile is functioning they will give you a lot of uh, plot kind of things and show you in which uh, percentile your uh, work is being uh, uh, compared with that of uh, other uh, researchers and uh, all your metrics like uh, how many publications how is your publication graph going on how is your reviewer graph going on and so what is the publication to review ratio or something like this these are all some metrics what you get from uh, bublons depending upon the uh, updation what you do and the profile what you are uh, working on so these are all the metrics available and apart from this i also recommend you have a research kit account because that has an option that the readers can instantly see your uh, full text article so that is one other way of easily getting a, your article uh, cited or made made available to the authors and uh, complying to the uh, sharing policy of the concerned journal and the publisher you just make your uh, text available or at least your abstract available in uh, research kit also because that will also be useful because uh, most of the uh, researchers will be having a research kit profile and they can individually connect to you because both in orsid and publons you don't have an option to communicate with the researcher they can only view your profile but they won't be able to communicate in an instant but whereas in a, and they can't request for an article or they can't discuss about an article or they can't uh, comment about an article whereas that research and that gap has been addressed by research gate so there you can get all your uh, publications uh, uh, listed and an author can uh, send a message straight or they can ask uh, they can uh, ask for a full text if it is not available and if you have a personal copy available with you and if you want to share it you can do it over there so that is all with the uh, with the orsid and the publons so if at all any queries we can uh, take up now Uh, sir, there are number of questions, but Dr. Lalit Gupta had already uh, answered in the uh, chat box. And okay. uh, in between, even I request you, uh, if you want to go through uh, uh, some live, like one of I found of you know, uh, uses uh, that uh, um, guide us how to enroll the journal on uh, on Publons. Uh, how to enroll a journal on Publons? Please type ipinnovative.com. Sir, please type innovative ipinnovative.com. IP innovative. You want me yeah, to? Yeah, ipinnovative.com. Sorry, ipinnovative. That's all. You will have the journals from them. Yeah. You can go to that journal. No, sir. But it's a, a, just a, no, sir. Just click on the journal, browse the journal and ipinnovative. Okay. So could you go back, sir? Uh, browse, then journal page, and browse then journal. Yes, sir. No, sir. Publisher. He set it up. Publisher. On publisher. IP innovative. Yes, sir. Okay. You have all the innovative house uh, journals listed here. So here you can choose anyone and you can endorse. Yeah, as per as per your specialization, editors or yeah. viewers can select the journals and they can and endorse. Can here and endorse. Yeah, just just this one. Journal successfully endorsed. Yes, uh, this is the process. Uh, I guess uh, it it helps a problem. lot. Uh, yeah, uh, to understand life that how we can endorse and journal. So, uh, Doctor Gopu, there was an interesting question. If the journal do not send, does not send any of the thank you messages, where the the article is mentioned, how will you uh, get the review credit for that article? Sir, what is it? You just come again, sir. Uh, I am saying, uh, if the journal does not send any thanks message to you, okay, uh, how will okay. you get the credit for the your review or the, your editorial? You have to ask from them manually, sir. Or you can do with the If you have a in the Publons account, there is a manual option where you know for what title, for what journal you have done the review process. 
you can do it manually and publishers will uh, ask it from the publishers for an acknowledgement and uh, once it is done it will be added to your profile uh, may i ask may uh, uh, give some more information about it uh, the thing yeah. is that in case uh, you think your journal has not sent you any thank you message then you can just go to your profile on that journal website and see your uh, review or the editorial articles you can just take the screenshot of that page and you can send it to the reviews or the edits at the rate pavlon.com whatever that is review or the editorial the general way uh, the pavlon will take it as a bulk message and it will take around 7 to 8 days and it will add all it will verify and it will add all this is one of the another method that you to many people use to do for many journals so the pavlon needs only the article manuscript so, id the manuscript title and the publisher these are all the three key metadata what the publons will uh, need to uh, acknowledge a review so if it is available then it's fine and yeah, if it is available it is it is available okay nikita yeah. most of the answers are now answered can you can proceed exactly